Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Java Edition, checking out the latest 1.16 Nether Snapshot. Now at this point, I'm convinced the developer's main focus is bug fixes, stability and tweaks, and that is exactly what we do have in today's video. This is the official snapshot version 20W19A. In case you don't know what the snapshots stand for, the 20 stands for the year, the W stands for week, and 19 stands for what week we're in. We are currently in week 19 of 2020. I cannot believe we are already five months in, in this year. So I'm getting asked the question quite frequently, when do I think full release is going to be happening? So we're currently in like the bug fixes, stability and tweak stages. After that, Minecraft Java rolls into pre-release. Now, at the rate the developers are going, who are doing a fantastic job, by the way, at their homes because of the current pandemic, uh, we could see pre-releases as early as the next two weeks. My personal opinion, this update is more than likely highly likely to release towards the end of June, the beginning of July. That will be somewhat the target date for the developers because after that, we look forward to Minecon, which is going to be called Minecon Live this year because of the current pandemic. Um, and then obviously we will find out what the end of year update is going to be. For the past two years, the end of year updates have been the bees and the bees update, and we've had the pandas update. This year is going to be uh, snow, goats, and some mountain changes. If you want the official change log for this, it is down below. Let's do the game and let's check out all this week's changes. So I'll go through a couple of the bug fixes today. I'm not going through all of them, uh, but there has been quite a lot of bug fixes over the past few updates. We're going to save the nether related changes towards the end, starting with the first thing that they introduced, added distance by Strider. Go to your statistics, and if you go down, you can find this distance by Strider. Obviously, we haven't traveled anywhere in this world, but if you're traveling, it will actually explain to you how far you've traveled. Personally, don't see myself using the Strider as much. Um, it's a great introduction though. I think it's a great method to get from A to B. The next thing is there has been quite a few changes to villages in this week's snapshot. Villages can now spawn iron golems regardless of profession, status, or latest working time. So I think this also plagues the bedrock version. I've talked about this quite a lot. Villages are still not 100% stable. They've not really ever been 100% stable since the village and pillage update has released. So um, this is going to be related to iron golem farms as well. So this will make things working a lot better. Uh, basically, iron golems would not spawn if there was no official villager who had a job. So if they were just nitwits, they wouldn't spawn. Uh, the, because you can see here, regardless of their profession status or latest working time. So regarding to the villagers going to their workstations, really confusing stuff. The thing to know here is the spawn rate of iron golems has been increased and works correctly. So this is a little bit of an interesting one. Uh, it says here, lowered amount that weeping slash twisting vines grow via bone meal, by the way. So if we do this once, that one grow one, two, three, and four. If we do it again. This one grew one, two, three. This one seems to uh, still grow. That one grew three. That one grew three again. That one grew one. So uh, yeah, they've done the same for this one as well. So whenever you did this, this would go like really, 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 really high. So they made some uh, reductions there. Probably the right change, to be honest with you. The next change here is you now need shears to get an item when breaking the sprout. So if we grab ourselves the shears and we go to forward slash game mode uh, survival. I think if you previously did it with your hand, you were able to just get it. Uh, now it does require shears. Kind of makes sense. It's the same with a lot of features within Minecraft. A very, very basic change. A very, very minor... Let's go back to creative. Very, very minor change that... I mean, it's probably important, right? The next one. Tweaked mob spawning to adhere to mob caps. I'm not 100% sure what this entails in terms of what they, what mobs have been changed or tweaked. Again, this is, again, related to the likes of Iron Gorms as well. So mob spawning has been slightly tweaked. I wish they would make more tweaks like this for the Bedrock version. Biome distribution in the Nether tweaked. I think that's in terms of colliding biomes. Your wastes and your soul sand valleys, your crimsons and your warp, they've kind of collided and the distribution is a lot better. Also on how often certain biomes spawned. I have noticed in this latest snapshot that the delta basalts are a lot more frequent compared to previously. So fish now have their own mob category and mob cap. Getting into a couple of bug fixes, again related to villages. Villages 
Try to sleep in occupied beds. I think this is still broken. So whenever a villager is in a bed, another villager would try to take it. Instead of going to a different... This, there's a couple of beds around. If we just grab a, a couple of these and spawn them in. Beds. Bed stealers. He, he's still trying to do it. Um, so I think that still needs to be tweaked. According to the change log, villagers no longer try to sleep in occupied beds is what this bug fix is. This little fella still trying to get himself inside of there. So villagers are still trying to... Steel beds, that's not been fully fixed. So fixed iron golem spawning in hordes. So whenever you had a group of villagers around, whether it was one, two, three, four, uh, there would be like eight iron golems that would spawn. So as you guys know, per village, it's one. Whenever you do have a an iron golem, an automatic iron farm, you know, like, you want the Iron Golem to spawn quite frequently. They have a certain time when they do spawn. Uh, no, with the bug previously, they would spawn non-stop and very, 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 very frequently. So, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, you're not going to get tons and tons of iron. Piglins slash Hoglins now become zombified in the end. We don't need to go to the end for me to show you guys that. But you know when they shake and they're dancing round. He's gonna whack. Oh, he's already trying to steal his bed. And village is sleeping on the floor. <laughs> uh, so he's gonna attack him. So yeah, these guys now become zombified inside the end. They will also attack Enderman as well. Curious if they would even attempt to try and attack the Ender Dragon. But those guys are off on an adventure. Next one, villagers now look for another bed if their bed is taken. So that guy was sleeping in here. If we broke his bed or somebody stole, he's gone. He's actually gone back to bed. You know what? These these also are still trying to. Ch he's like, dude, it's my. Imagine, imagine waking up and someone just standing on you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're still trying to steal his bed. But this guy's just gone straight back to bed. So this one is villagers can now look for another bed if their bed is taken. So if we take away his bed. Uh, he will then attempt to look for another bed rather than just standing there hopeless. And this guy already stole his bed. Oh, my Lord. Villages. There you go. He found another bed. So that would happen. They would register another bed <laughs> if their other bed was taken. So mobs can no longer spawn inside the Wither Roses or on, on top of the Wither Roses. This has been quite a controversial change according to the Minecraft developers. And I will show you. So on Twitter, King B Dogs, which, by the way, was previously a Minecraft modder, now turned Minecraft developer. So in the latest snapshot, we made it so mobs can no longer spawn on Wither Roses. This has been an ongoing conversation internally and with the community. But in the end, we found that spawning on Wither Roses was so powerful in farms that it, it removed almost all other solutions. So all the other solutions being other farms, uh, you know, like the old school one, the big cobblestone one, you go out and then they generate and fall down. Um, basically, Wither Roses farms were incredibly OP. It says all other solutions are immediately non-viable because of the Wither Roses. And we don't want features in the game to overpower others, which was a great concern. Mob farms are extremely important to us, and we want to make sure the effort required to make one matches the reward. Let us know how you feel about this change, and any feedback is always greatly appreciated. So, probably a change that I think is the right decision. You're not going to see mobs spawning on these as well. It made farms very, 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 very powerful. Enderman can now teleport when on magma blocks. Previously, they would not teleport away. They would just take it like a man and just have themselves killed. This is the best way to explain that. But there has been a couple more changes. Feel free to read the change log if you want to find out in a little bit more detail. Let's go inside the nether and let's go through the nether-based changes. So even as a YouTuber, I don't quite understand this. Uh, this one is piglins with pumpkins show Z fighting. Can anyone explain what that means? Uh, but I didn't know they could wear pumpkins. So that's something pretty cool. Something that has changed is patches of blackstone uh, and gravel now generate in all nether biomes. This is already on the bedrock version. So I think this is a parity change. And this is the biggest one this week, guys. Bastions are now uh, a bit less common. So they're not going to be as frequently spawning. I think that's because of how powerful the loot is in bastions. They've already tweaked the loot inside bastions. Wouldn't surprise me if they made some more changes. But I'm going to go into spectator mode and check out the patches of Blackstone. And I'm also going to go and see if we can find ourselves a Bastion as well and see how common. Well, the first thing I found was a Bastion. Uh, it really didn't take me long. Just a really, really cool spawn. I like these a lot, though. I think they're a great introduction. A little bit disappointed that they didn't introduce some form of mini boss battle because the loot inside of here is incredibly powerful. 
it's some of the best loot that you can get in Minecraft. Now, obviously, granted, it was nerfed because at the start, inside of these kind of chests, if it lets me open it, I'm forward slash game mode creative. Um, inside of here, you could obtain the likes of your uh, netherite armor. It was broken and damaged or scraps. They, they've now nerfed it to a point where you don't find that. You are finding the likes of um, diamond related things. Uh, the loot's still not as great in this one. Maybe that's just me, but yeah, let's go and see if we can find the patches. But in terms to start off with, the generation seems eh, not too bad. So I've been doing quite a bit of traveling and I don't seem to see too much of the blackstone generating. It's meant to spawn in like little patches. I have seen the gravel. They said more gravel patches would spawn as well. And also they said more frequently soul sand slash so soil would generate just in random patches as well. I've noticed that slightly happening, but in terms of the blackstone, I'm really not seeing that generate in the way it's meant to, but I have started to notice more of these patches as well. So you'll see these more frequently, but oh, we found another, we found another bastion as well. But yeah, in terms of the blackstone generating and how it's meant to generate, not really noticing it as much. Maybe that's something else that hasn't been fully changed. Uh, but out of all the traveling I've done, I have noticed that I found two bastions, but not a single fortress. Now we are quite low down. I think usually, typically, your fortresses are a little bit higher, but the generations goes all the way down to lava anyway. So I'm generally surprised at that. Um, what would you say is more rare, common? Would you say bastions are more common? Would you say the fortress is more common? I think they've just tweaked it to make bastions seem a little bit rarer of a structure. But that's this week's snapshot, guys. Uh, again, bug fixes and stability. Going to be the same for Bedrock as well. If you did enjoy today's video, hit that like button. Change log is down below. And again, regardless of a big update, small update, big beta, little beta, big snapshot, little snapshot, I will always cover a video on it. So stick around in the channel, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.